So we're gonna remove the shower unit now. There's two aspects of this demolition. One is we have to cut the wall and remove the wall. Uh, and then we have to remove the shower unit from the drain system. This was uh, plumbed in, so it's glued together. There's no way to remove this without cutting that first. So now here we go, I'm wearing safety glasses. This is for all you people who sent me comments on my videos and thank you for them. Safety first, lots of love. Here we go. This is a fiberglass base. So basically what we have to do is we have to hammer around to separate the drain system from the shower system. All right, so back to the more refined method. Instead of just beating the tar out of it, what I got here is I got my jigsaw and I got an old broken blade. It's perfect because uh, I don't want to be going too deep down here. I don't know what I'm cutting through and I don't want to damage anything else that might be underneath the shower. So just turn it on and finish running the cut. And you can see we're independent of the shower now. So this will stay where it is and we can actually lift the shower off the drain system and we're not going to break any plumbing lines and cause ourselves some future problems. So basically with this reciprocator here, there's this massive guard here that you're supposed to push up against the wall while you're using it so then it doesn't vibrate around. You're actually cutting a lot more efficiently than rather than cutting way out here. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and cut this and uh, show you guys what's going on. So the idea is when you're cutting, if you think you're bumping into something, stop. <laughs> Open up the wall first and have a look. Okay. Here. Okay, man. So that's what you're cutting. This is the, the framing for this wall. This is some back framing. I'm not sure what the back framing is for, to be honest with you, because this is the framing that supports the overhead, right? Mm -hmm. You can see when you look through the hole that the shower goes in front, right? And then it's covered in drywall. Yeah. Right? So it's the same thing. So there's a flange that's going up and around. It's all covered up in drywall and painted in. So the only way to get this shower insert out of here is to get rid of the framework that surrounds it. So we'll finish cutting through here. Don't cut the vent. This is what's bringing the air from outside to chase the water down the drain, which is why the water gets that nice siphon, okay? Uh, just a little tip at home. If your water is draining really, really slow, you might have a block in your vent. And there's no air to follow the water down. It glugs like a Coke bottle upside down. Blah, 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 blah. If you have uh, air coming in behind it, it flies right out. The tip on this is awesome. Yeah. Because it just seems to want to rip everything that's in its path. You don't have to be strong, you just got to have good leverage. too much if you're not holding on to it. You'd be surprised how easy this stuff will just fall out of the ceiling. Oh, like that. So now we've uncovered how this is installed. This is actually pretty easy. You can see the uh, fiberglass here. It ends and there's the old caulking line. And then just covering a couple of screws right into the framework. There's nothing up top. It's actually just a piece of drywall with a metal trim. Barely even attached, to be honest with you. A handful of screws. You want to just yank that down? It's mostly just tape at this point. There you go. Okay, and I'm sure on the other side it's pretty much the same. There's a half inch drywall here, and it's just covering over the screw heads. So we just got to chisel out a little bit of drywall here, 
and back off the screws. And then that's it. This will just come out as one unit. Now it's a little bit big and nasty. You might find it easier. Just take the sawzall, cut it into thirds so that it's easier to carry out instead of trying to maneuver through all the doorways. But uh, this is how they do it. They come in one piece and they leave out in many. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just demonstrate how to cut this. It's pretty simple. This is only a $6 blade. This is not an expensive piece of equipment. You can use a sawzall. You can use a hand saw. You can use a jigsaw. You can use a circular saw. You could use a hammer and a chisel if you had to, but it's easy to cut. Go ahead, give that a rip. So that's pretty much the extent of it. We're gonna pull the shower out, cut it in a few pieces, make it simple, remove all the drywall from the walls. We're gonna to have to relocate the vent. Luckily for us, we're gonna open up the floor because we're doing a brand new tile for the center drain. So we have to relocate the drain, we'll move the venting into this wall over here, won't be in the way. And uh, then we'll just be putting down our special Dietra floor, tiling, and we'll give them back their bathroom. Remember, if you wanna learn more, just subscribe to our channel, Ottawa Design and Village here on YouTube.